does creating content for marketing show up for you like a treadmill or show up for you as just another burden, something else that you've got to get done on a regular basis and you just don't want to do it? Hi, I'm Mark Bullock. I'm the co-founder of videosocials.net and phoneblogger.net. And all I can tell you is as somebody who has created a lot of content for a lot of years now, that it basically comes down to letting go of the fact that it's a treadmill or, or letting go of the fact that, it, that it's something you have to do that you may not want to do. How do you do that? The short answer is don't do it for you. Do it for your audience. In other words, whatever you're creating, it needs to have the focus. For it to have the impact that you want it to have, it needs to have your audience as the focus. It needs to be valuable to them. It needs to make sense to them. It needs, it needs to have them want to engage and consume additional content from you. Remember the old advertising uh, um, adage that you know seven to nine impressions as an example right and there's lots of and there's lots of variations of that but basically what it comes down to is you can't do one newsletter you can't do one blog post you can't do one video and expect to get any traction out of it basically people need to see you hear you read what you've read what you've written etc multiple times over time and that starts to create that know, like, and trust. And may I even say familiarity and comfort that they relate to you, that they can, that they get, that you understand them. That can only happen with volume over time. So content creation is not a one-time thing. It's not a 10 times thing. It's a hundred times thing. And how do you eat that elephant in the room? One bite at a time one blog post at a time, one video at a time, one podcast at a time, whatever it is, but it's being willing to do it on a consistent basis. And that consistency is not going to come out of you unless you're doing it for them because of the value that they'll receive because of what they're going to get out of it. And what goes around comes around. If they're getting if they're getting something out of it, they're getting it on a consistent basis. If your email shows up every month and they don't have time to read it, they don't they don't unsubscribe because they know that your content is 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 valuable to them as soon as they get a couple of minutes to read it. And then they're going to pass it on to somebody else that that maybe needs it more than they do at that moment. So look at it from the long term gain and look at it as integrating creating content for your audience on a consistent basis over time, rather than trying to get focused on doing the one, two, three thing. It's just, that's not how it works. Hope you found this valuable. If you did, there's lots more at videosocials.net forward slash academy. There'll be a link below for that. And again, I'm Mark Bullock, the co-founder of videosocials.net and a phone blogger.net. Have a great day.